This is Dror Moshe Kasuto. Shalom Vracha. Hope everything is well with you. We're going to learn today about um, Noach. Ele Toldot Noach. Now we're talking about the things that happened with Noach. Noach ish tzadik tamim haya bedorotav. It's written twice the word Noach, the name Noach. Ele toldot Noach. Those are the things that happened with Noach. Noach ish tzadik tamim haya bedorotav. Noach was a righteous and innocent man in his generation. Et ha-Elohim italech Noach. Noach was serving Hashem, serving God. Why is it written Noach? Noach. Why is it written the name of Noach twice. It's true that it's it, it fits to mention those his name twice in the sentence. It's logic, not there's that there is a problem with it, but we're trying to find a deeper explanation for that reason. Um, for the reason why his name has been written twice. Um, so also on Abraham, on Avraham Avinu, it's written that Hashem called Avraham, Avraham, twice it's written that Hashem told Avraham, Avraham, he called him, he called Abraham, Abraham. So again, why it's written twice, why twice is needed? Because people, and mainly we can see the effect of that um, creation of people, has two, 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 two portions, two parts for their souls. One is the soul that is physically attached to our body. That's your soul. That's who you are. But you also have a higher, more divine and holy part to your soul that is in heaven above. So now... Um, when the Creator is calling those righteous people with mentioning both of their like their names twice, it means that they were righteous people that were holding in that level to be attached also to their divine soul, not only to the soul that takes actions in this world, also to the soul that takes actions in the world of beyond. So, um means that they are righteous people, that their mind is walking in heaven, that their understandings are also deep in, in the godly plane, in, in, in a spiritual aspect of, of being, much higher than, than our mindset and our, the level of our awareness. So Noach was serving Hashem, and it's written on him that he was righteous and that he was naive, means simple and good. Noach had three children, Vayoled Noach Shlosha Banim, Et Shem, Et Cham, Ve'et Yafet. Um, so, like we know, the flood came. I, I think that I should, like, read a little bit less, or at least to, to read the certain verses that will, will bring certain meaning for us, and not just to translate, because you can find many translations of the Bible. It's, uh, again, I'm saying it, it's not so much my thing to just translate. So, Noach had three children, and from those three children, um, the wide world came out um, to the world, and um, his family, Noach's family. So, the Creator told him to Noach, Ketz kol basar ba lefanai. I decided to erase human beings from the world. People are, are misbehaving in horrible ways and people are stealing from each other, robbing each other and I decided to erase them, to kill them all. You need to build an ark that will be made from certain kind of tree that is called gofer. Kinim means rooms, like nests. You need to make nests, it means you need to make rooms for every animal, every kind that will enter. Taase et teva, you should make the ark. Vechafarta ota mi bait u mi chutz bakofer. And you need to seal it um, with um, kofer. Kofer 
um, is probably tar. It's um, like an elastic material that material that can seal the um, the 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 boat the ark from inside and from out that water won't get in. And now the Torah is bringing to us the measures, the sizes of of the ark, and those are very deep and important meetings, but um, not for us as for now. Um, to read and to explain and the creator is telling him et itach, and I will set the covenant with you means an agreement of peace teva, and you will come to the ark Ata you and your children and your wife and your daughter in laws with you itach Mikol Hachai and from all the live animals, Mikol Basar, Shnaim Mikol Taviela Teva. You will bring them in couples, in pairs, they will come. Lachyot Itach Zahar Unekeva Iyu. To give them life, male and female, you should bring with you to the ark. Um, you should bring food to the ark uh, for them and on. There is something very um, nice, very um, amazing that is written. I think it will be important to hear. Shnaim shnaim bau el noch el hateva. When they came, the animals came um, to Noch's ark, so they came in pairs, like Hashem commanded him. Zacharu nekeva kasher tziva Elohim et Noch, like that Hashem commanded Noch. So they came in pairs, and this is a known thing in nature. Animals not necessarily goes in pairs; like they they can they can mate with each other with no uh, uh, without committing to each other as couple, like human beings that are getting married. Um, but here we see that they did came. Um, come like that in pairs so I heard a very nice explanation about it that it was because of the holiness of Noah that the animals that were under his government under his authority was also um, enjoying his purity and his holiness um, like we said about Adam and Eve, that when Adam called names to the animals, so he put the spirit the, inside of them while calling them in names. And when animals lived in those holy days in Garden of Eden, so they had peace between them and they had a relaxed and calm and satisfied spirit inside of them because of the spiritual level of Adam and Eve. And in our generations, we can see that you have predators and cruel animals and, and poison and lethal, dangerous animals. And it's because of the spirit that is inside of us. And we are defining the nature of animals around us based corresponding to our attributes, to our manners and behaviors. Now Noah, because of his holiness and purity, and the Creator is testifying on him that he was a holy and righteous and naive, good and simple man. So because of that, even the animals that were not supposed to come in pairs means to be committed to each other as couples. They achieved that spiritual and holy level and joined Noah into his ark as couples, as pairs. They enjoyed his holiness and his purity. Um, and after seven days, the water of the flood came down on earth. Um, when Noah was 600 years old, in the second month, in the 17th day of that month, in that day, all the springs of uh, and uh, of of uh, the, of the, of depths, all all deep water that are underground, been opened, and 
pipes from heaven been opened, the sky been opened, and water were flooding um, the world. The rain took place for 40 days. It was raining and all of them been saved in the holy ark. And the animals that joined them came with them, male and female, and Vaisgor Adonai Bado. And the Creator made a miracle for Noah and his family and all the animals that when they climbed into the ark, so the Creator closed the door from outside. It was not in their power to close, to seal the door. And Hashem, the Creator, did it for them. Thank you. May Hashem bless you all. Amen. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit emuna.com. May your light shine always and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.